All right, we are going to continue with translated conics. This is on worksheet 14A. I think the only one we had left on this side was number 20. Could you guys work on completing the square on this one and see what you get? Oh, it's recording what's on my computer anyway. Thank you, though. Zachary, what do we get for this first part? Either either spot. Tell me. Okay. Okay. So no coefficients. So we just have a sixteen and a hundred over here. Okay. That seems right to me. Um, Shayla, what shape is that then? Yep, it's just a circle. And the center, which I'm trying to avoid just writing C because then we get confused when we're doing foci. This doesn't have foci, but the center is at, anybody? Okay. And the other thing we need, because it's a circle, would probably be the radius of 2. And I think that's good. I don't think we need to practice graphing that one, right? OK. I'm going to talk about worksheet 14B. There are two questions out of the book, or two examples out of the book, that I wanted to go over. So I would suggest you need to write these down on 14B, but I guess that's up to you. You don't have this printed there. It's invisible ink. You know, that's what happens when I copy. Um, this tells us some very important information. We have an ellipse with the center at 5, negative 4. The endpoints of its major and minor axis are this particular book does not call them vertices and covertices. It just says all four of them are vertices. Doesn't matter. If we sketch it out, we should be able to figure out which ones are further out, which would be the major axis or the vertices. Um, the center is at 5, negative 4. One of the endpoints is at 5, 2. Another is at five, yeah, that would be a good what, thanks. That was a very polite way of saying, <laughs> you're so wrong, half hour. <laughs> five, two would be up here. Sorry. Uh, five, negative 10 would be down here. Um, two negative four. So I'm thinking that's our minor axis. What do you think? Two negative four, does that seem like the shorter mm -hmm. distance? And over here was eight negative four. <coughs> All right. Mine's really bad, stretched, funny looking, goofy, but it's an alien. Or a jelly bean or something. I don't know what it is. Um, the distance along the major axis from the center is A. Does anybody know what A is right there? From 5, negative 4 up to 5, positive 2 seems like 6. Everybody okay? The distance uh, along the minor axis here would be B. 
from 5, negative 4 over to positive 2, negative 4 was a distance of 3. Is anybody prepared to write the equation? Yeah. Eric, tell me what you get. X minus, wait, yeah, X minus 5 squared over, uh, whatever, oh yeah, 36. Or no, no, X is that way, okay, uh, I don't know, let's see, wait, wait, 416. Wait, is it negative 4 to negative 4? Oh no, 8, it's so it's 9. 3, nine. yep, it was that 3 distance. So in the x direction, it went 3 each way. So 3 squared is 9. Good. You're all right. Keep <coughs> going. 1 plus 4 squared over 36 equals 1. Nice, nice finish. Yeah, well, that matters. Only counts. <laughs> the end, yes. Um, if I don't add anything to it, it will be due Tuesday. I will decide definitively by tomorrow. I may decide to add, we have two more sections to cover. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do that though. I don't think I wanna have all that in one homework check. So Tuesday it's looking like, okay. Um, it says find the coordinate of the foci here, which is excellent practice for us. Major axis, A squared, minor axis, B squared. How do we find C then? Right, so 36 minus 9, a squared minus b squared. And square root. It's 27, isn't it? I was going to say, did I subtract right, guys? Okay. Um, or 3 squared to 3. I'm not super picky about that in this chapter because we have so many more things to be picky about. On which axis are those? Or which direction are they from the center, maybe I should say? They're on the major axis, so they're up and down. So we're going to add those to the center, but which part of the center's coordinates? We have 5, negative 4 is the center. Um, actually, they're on the major axis, so they're going up and down, which is why. So it should be 5 comma negative 4 plus or minus 3 square roots of 3 for the foci. Does anybody need me to kind of go over the orange sheet where that all came from or not? Everybody's all right? I believe on the orange sheet it would have said for a, let's see, this is a vertical ellipse. And then it would have said H comma K plus or minus C. Is anybody looking at it? Is that, do I have it right off the orange sheet? Okay. I don't think about it that way, so. All right, one more example. Can you guys write this down and try to graph this conic right here? X equals 2Y squared plus 12Y plus 14. <clears throat> that would be awesome because you learned that in Algebra 1 right. and Algebra 2. Right. So now in pre-calc, you get to learn X equals. <laughs> You're right. We could go to Desmos and type it in and see what we're going to get. Do you want me to do that? Does Desmos make any actual calculators? Say that again. Does Desmos make they make an app calculators? for your phone. They do make an app for your phone. I don't know. There's a... Okay. Say that again. Like the focus in the directrix part of it? 
oh, I just don't think about H and, yes, I think about it in terms of distance. Like C is the distance out to this, like that, yeah. I, the whole, I gotta get the H and K in which I'm, yeah, I don't, just don't think about it that way. All right, um, launch calculator, what's the equation, Victor? Oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't write it down? Did somebody write it down? X equals 12y squared. No, 2y squared. 2y squared. Plus 12y. Plus 4? 14? Okay, there's what it's going to look like. Okay? No, it's just a parabola. We're not supposed to get x on the other side, right? Um, <clears throat> no, we don't need to move X to the other side. This is, it, if you're not going to cheat, which you don't get to use Desmos on the quiz, you need to know how to complete the square for this problem so that you can find the vertex, okay? So we're going to do X minus 14 plus blank equals, because I need to complete the square on this side. Well, what else do I need to do before I should probably complete the square? Divide by 2. Yeah, take out a 2. I'm just going to factor it out. You can divide. Actually, I think that's the way I learned when I was in school. But then you end up having to multiply it back, so it just kind of hurt my head. So this will be y plus 3 squared is a 9. So what do we actually have to add to the other side? So that's an x plus 4. So I think the orange sheet says this. Now be very careful. It hurts me to write it that way. I think that's what it says. Is that what it says? Is anybody looking? Yeah. Oh, I lost my 2. Sorry. Okay, the problem is HK is not negative 3, negative 4. Okay. So H is negative 4, and K is negative 3. So the vertex of this parabola is at negative 4, negative 3. Negative four, negative three, somewhere over here. Is that what it looked like? Okay, negative four, negative three. We were good. Um, I don't think I remember to talk about this with you guys yet, but on the quiz, there were. Um, a couple parabola questions and one of them like the vertex was down here and it said it had I don't know I'm just gonna make something up so you got negative four negative four you went down here and then some of you did this no silly why is on left side all right hey, X. <laughs> we're not looking at the same one are we <laughs> This, it, this is just one I made up or it's off the quiz, but what did this tell you back in Algebra 1 when you had it's y equals, here. yeah, 2x squared was a skinny parabola, okay? So it should have been going actually over 1 and up 2 if you wanted a couple ordered, a couple points. The, I did not take off points, okay? Because the point of this particular quiz was did you know it was a parabola? Could you find the vertex? Some of that. And they were one point apiece. I wasn't going to take off half credit because you found the right vertex, put it in the right quadrant, plotted it right, but you made it too fat. Okay? So just if there's another quiz where there's multiple points, I might get pickier about that. If the, this graph had been worth three or four points, I probably would have taken off. Back to this question. This has a two. Now it's going... Is this one opening up and down? 
No, we knew that because it had X by itself and because Desmos said it, right? But it is a sideways parabola, but the two still makes it skinny, okay? Now, when it says label all characteristics of the conic, it wants focus and directrix for a parabola. How can we find focus and directrix? Like One over four C is equal to what? Two. Two. So one over four C equals two, which means eight C equals one, C equals, you good? Okay. One eighth of a unit this way, and one eighth of a unit back this way. Okay. Again, there's formulas for it on your sheet. My thinking is instead of going all the way left to negative four, I'm going left to negative three and seven eighths and down three. So a better way to write that focus would be negative 31 eighths, I think. I don't know, what does your sheet say? Your sheet must say H plus C comma K, is that right? For focus when it's a horizontal parabola? Anybody got their sheet out? Mariana's looking for me. Is it H plus C? Okay. And the directrix is back here an eighth of a unit. Anybody give me their answer for that? What's the name of that equation? Uh, if it was at negative four when we moved another eighth over, it'd be negative four and one eighth. Is that right? Is it time to just make um, I'm not gonna count them wrong. Eventually, someone might because depending on the problem, that could look like four times one eighth, depending what you're doing. So, um, or x equals negative thirty-three eighths. Did I do that right? I think yeah. so. Um, the formula they have on the sheet is probably, what did it say? X equals H minus okay. So eventually we got answers, either one of those green equations up there and either this foci or this guy down here. All right. That was more fun than we needed to have. <coughs> There's one question I would like us to do together on 15A. Is it A? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go to 15A? Because this comes out ugly. Is it 39 on the right side? I did not get 39, I don't think. Can you guys work on this one? Try completing the square for this mess. And I, I got a, a fairly nice number until I tried to divide, and then it became messy. Is this point? Yeah. So 
If all we had to say was what is it and what's the center, we'd be okay, right? Yes. Yeah. The evilness comes in with this and the fossa. <gasps> Three goes into 36 12 times. Not nice, but we don't have to graph it. it yeah, it's better than this one. <laughs> That's a Y. It's just an out of control Y. What goes down there if I wanted a fraction? Five times 36. 36. Is it 36 or 185? No, it's just no. Uh, no, he's right. 5 over 36. Nope. 36 over 5. I think of it this way. I'm going to divide that by 5 and that by 5. Mm -hmm. Can we write 7.2 instead? You can. But we're going to have the square root of something ugly in a minute. And I'm going to do it exactly, so I'm going to. I don't really care if that's. I know I didn't put this one on the homework check. <coughs> All right. The two major parts that are easy now, what is it and where is it center? Emily, what is it? Yes. <laughs> it's one of those. It's an ellipse. Very good. Right shape with the figures, I got you. Now what? The center, can you tell me that part? Uh, center looking at negative integer. Good job, okay. When we have an ellipse, A is the longer major axis number. Which one of these is bigger? 12. Okay, so A squared is 12 and B squared is 36 fifths. To find C, we need to do what? C squared equals A squared. Subtract. Yeah, yeah. A squared minus B squared. It is 24 fifths because this is 60 fifths. And I, <laughs> is that right? Yeah, yeah, no. I, I'm okay with this, guys. I'm okay with this. Let's not get a headache about this. Um, but which way is it going to be added onto that center? No, it'll be over 20. X way. Yeah, it should be over yeah, five. Okay, yep, yep. No, you're uh, you're right. I'm wrong. This is two square roots of six over the square root of five. So when we multiply by square root of five over square root of five, it should be two square roots of thirty over five. Yep. I, I'm fine with that mess though. Okay. Back up here though. It's on the major axis. So is it going out on the x or up and down on the y? This way, so we have to add it onto the x of the center, right? Ew. What kind is this? How, a horizontal or vertical? A horizontal. Horizontal ellipse. Is someone looking on their sheet? Horizontal ellipse, what does it say for foci? Plus or minus C comma Z. Oh, wait. Yeah, yes. H comma plus, plus or minus C comma C. K, yes, which is what we ended up with. Thank you. I just like, because some people just want to use that sheet, I just like to refer back and forth. All right. Eek. Their rest of them are nicer, I promise. That's the worst one. So wait, why do you square root 24 over 5 instead of 2 square root 30 over It five? should be. It should be. I just said it's, I'm okay with either one. There's so much else going on that I'm not going to be picky about that. Okay?
Does anybody have a question? They worked on some of this last night. Come on. I, I've had people who actually did their homework in every class. You're going to tell me my smartest class? And you don't have a question, so? No. Okay. Good deal. Wait, baby. Let me see if I did it right. Yes? I don't actually have a question on this. But on, if it is, if the homework thing is due on Tuesday, on Monday, will we have time for questions? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, for sure, if it's on Tuesday, we'll have time for some questions on Monday, yes. Yes. For 15B, this book page, we don't have to do it right in front of the... What does it say? Page 726. Yes, it is up there. By 15A, do you see it says page 726? Okay. Uh, no, that's okay. I, I thought I messed something up, yes. Is that the key? I was just doing... Yeah, help yourself. Guys... I would kind of like to at least complete the square on this one with you just because you have to take out a negative. I want to see if you can get that one right. Can you try 13? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No? No, I got it What happens when you pull out a negative four here? Y plus three. When I divide out a negative four right there, I get minus six Y. And I'm out of room, so I'm gonna add them that way. Everybody okay with pulling out the negative? Uh, so what did you add to the other side for this one? Uh, 36? Yeah, it's I a negative subtract. 36 or subtract, yep. Because of that negative four. There's actually a negative 36 on this side if you've foiled, distributed that out. So then we end up with four, I think. Mm -hmm. What shape is this then? A uh, hyperbola, mm -hmm. a horizontal hyperbola. Uh, yes. <laughs> I have so much trouble with those words. I could tell you which way it's going. I just have to think about, is that mean horizontal or vertical? Oh my goodness, that was terrible handwriting. So it is a hyperbola that opens this way with a center at 5, 3, and this makes it a horizontal, just so you're looking at the right spot on the sheets. Good luck. <clears throat> We're missing um, the foci is the only thing it asked for, right? We don't have to actually graph this. Don't have room either, I'm sure, but um, we need to find C. 
This is a squared and b squared, so c squared is, if it's a minus in the middle because it's a hyperbola, we add c squared is 5, so c is the square root of 5. If it's horizontal, those points are inside of here. So you take the center that was at 5, 3, and you add and subtract square root of 5. Which one? X or Y's? Oh, X. Okay, because it's going the transverse axis that runs through the middle is going in the X direction. So we'd have 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 comma 3. Does that seem right, guys? Yeah. I sure hope I didn't make a mistake. That's what I have on my sheet. Okay, good job. All right. Anything? No one's looked at any of the book work yet? Okay, there's some tricky stuff on the book work. Not going to have a lot of time for questions tomorrow. I will try to find time, maybe five minutes for questions. But Polar's is going to take most of the hour. Yes? We don't have to do anything with the x squared. This will be y plus 3. You okay? Okay, I just don't need to do something. Nope. Nope.